Okay guys, finally I'm back. I've got a new computer, I'm missing some files, I'm missing some brain cells, but whatever, we're gonna get through this. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at some former Montreal Canadiens players. During the trade deadline, the Habs, they cleaned house, okay? Kent Hughes, he had enough. He traded away Tyler Toffoli, he got rid of Ben Sherratt, Brett Kulak, and uh, of course, our turkey Lekkonen. And these guys have been keeping it pretty interesting, because not only did they get moved to teams who were going to try and make a run for the cup, but as of right now, each of these guys are still fighting for Lord Stanley. Not you, Stanley. Jeez! So, let's cut the bullshit here, let's see how some of these guys are doing. Starting things off with Brit the Hitman Kulak, who was traded away to the Edmonton Oilers. And believe it or not, all Kool-Aid man ain't doing too shabby at all, okay? He's got three assists so far during his nine playoff games. And from what I've been reading, Oilers fans, they seem to be digging this guy. They're pretty pleased with him. I've even read a couple of tweets claiming that Kulak has been their most reliable defenseman so far this postseason. So pretty good stuff. And this is a pretty special time for Kulak. It's the Battle of Alberta and all Kulak is from Edmonton. This guy grew up an Oilers fan, so you know what that means. When the Flames drafted him, we almost had another Eric Lindros incident. Moving on and sticking with the Battle of Alberta, we got Tyler Toffoli who also ain't doing too bad. You know, despite having a random nurse in Edmonton trying to slash his throat at one point. Look at that. Jeez. Last time I saw stuff like that was in a Mel Gibson movie. Anyway, Toffoli, he's been holding his own, okay? He's got two goals and two assists so far during the playoffs. And uh, it's only a matter of time before he begins picking it up even more. Because the games that I've been watching, he's been all around the net. He's in there like a friggin' shit fly every opportunity he gets. And Flames fans, they might not be aware of it yet, but they got a beauty, okay? And I still think that Tyler Toffoli was one of the nicest UFA signings Mark Bergevin ever made during his tenure with the Habs. I do miss my ravioli, okay? Next up to the plate, we got Big Bad Ben Sherratt, who is currently sporting out a Florida Panthers jersey. Now, he's only got one assist so far during the playoffs, but hey, let's face it, points are not really Sherratt's thing, okay? He's been on some kind of a statistical diet since he broke into the NHL, and points are the enemy. Besides, he's the kind of guy that would rather smash skulls out there anyway. And from what I've seen, he hasn't really changed a whole lot. He's doing pretty good. But uh, Florida, hey, they're currently in pretty tough with Tampa Bay. And honestly, I don't see them getting past the second round. Our good buddy Corey Perry is just too damn good. Remember him? Yeah, of course you do. The guy that wasn't worth signing for a couple of years in Montreal, but a dynasty like Tampa decided, hey, he can make the cut here. God, yeah, I'm still bitter. Moving on, last on the list, we got our Turkey Lekkonen, who is currently playing for the powerhouse Colorado Avalanche. And gee, of all the guys that I've mentioned so far, honestly, Lekkonen has been the best fit for his team, in my honest opinion. He was having a career year as a head before he got traded, and well, since he went to Colorado, his numbers only increased. Check it out. Especially in the goal scoring department. He's a machine all of a sudden. In the playoffs, he's already got four goals in seven games. He picked up a couple of goals yesterday, including an empty netter to seal the deal. But you know what? I'm still a little skeptical about Lickinen's future. I think when he's ready to sign his next contract, he's got a lot of good arguments to make about how good he's been playing. But he is one of these guys where I wouldn't really want to throw the bank at him. Just in case he, you know, he decides to become another Yoel Armia next season. Now last night, I made a last minute community post before I went to bed and I asked all you grasshoppers out there which player that was traded near the trade deadline would you like to see lifting the Stanley Cup this year? And hey, the results, they speak for themselves. Everybody appears to be on the turkey bandwagon. It's beautiful. Anyway guys, that does it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Honestly, my apologies for the lack of content this week, but don't blame me. Blame my laptop. Don't forget to do whatever Jordan Bennington would do to the like button on the way out of here. I don't know, probably throw a water bottle at it. And hey, I'll see you next time.